Okay, welcome to Guitar Lessons. Fast, fun, and easy. I'm uh, going to show you how to play Norwegian Wood today by the Beatles. Uh, I'd like to explain though that the good old uh, Guild 12 string here, I have it tuned down to, uh, to D. Uh, so in other words, it's a whole step down from standard E concert pitch. Tuned down a whole step lower. Uh, so if you want to play along and sound like this, uh, and if you are in stat tuned to standard E, you want a capo to your first fret. Uh, and that should match the sound. I know I'm at the third. Remember, I'm tuned down two whole steps. So putting me here actually would put me to the first fret. That's what I'm saying to you. Go to your first fret. You should be fine. All right. Uh, let's do a close-up. Okay. So... We're going to make a D here. Remember, you're pretending that your uh, capo is your nut. So normally you would make a D here. Yes, this first fret. We're pretending that this is the first fret now. And it's open. There's nothing there. We're here making a D. Norwegian Wood has a little intro. It starts in this note right here. Which is the third string, second fret. We're pretending again it's, it's the second fret. We pick that, and then we're going to strum down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. We then go to, oops, to uh, right here, the third string, fourth fret, and then pick that D up. Picking that note and then picking the upstroke for the D chord. And then it goes back to this note and that upstroke also on the D. And then it goes to an open third string and upstroke. I'm going to put that all together. the D chord again and we're coming here with the little finger to the fourth string fourth fret and put that together when we hit that at that note we're going down up down up. it's not just that up stroke Now we're going to go in into this little uh, I'm lifting those two off. These two stay put. I'm going to hammer on here and pull off. So it's a fourth string, second fret, second finger, picking it open, hammering it on, pulling it off. Uh, then we're going to the third string open. And then we're coming back to the fourth string fourth fret. And then the fourth string open. Down up down up with a D chord. And then we move these two fingers over to here. This one stays put. It was on the D chord right here. Second string, third frets. It stays there. These two move over to here. Which is a fifth string, third fret, and this one is the fourth string, second fret. And it goes the fourth string, second fret. You're going to play this note. And then here we are here. We're going to strum this up. And then here, fourth string, second fret and strum this up. Move this over to the 5th string 2nd fret. And that upstroke also. 
So I'm going to do that again. And back to a D chord, playing your fourth string open. And down, up, down, up. So the end part goes. Oh, by the way, the part here that I'm doing where I'm going from the 5th string 3rd fret to the 4th string 2nd fret, this E note right here, and then to the 5th string 2nd, I use this 4th uh, string 2nd fret. But the Beatles, they're going from the 5th string 3rd fret to the 3rd string open this G open here and then they go to the fifth string second and of course dope so here's my way there's the Beatles so I just like doing that uh, Sometimes I will occasionally do the G, but other times I like going to that E instead. That's kind of up to you. And it starts all, uh, that, then it starts singing, because that's like the intro, but that's what's also being played while he's singing. I once had a girl, what should I say? That's that part. Okay, so we come to this, this next part of the tune. I don't know if we want to call it a bridge, but changes to a D minor. Uh, I like to throw hammer-ons in here when I'm doing this. So we need a D minor right here. And pick the fourth string open. And we're strumming it down, up, down, up. Fourth string open. Down, up, down, up. And we're going to go to the second string, or, uh, the third string, second fret with the second finger. I hammer it on. And so after I pick it open, hammer it on, and then do the down, up, down. I'm going to do that again from the open to that. She, it's part that goes, she asks me to stay. It does it again. She told me to sit in and So it's going to this G. Uh, and so playing 6th string 3rd fret. Down up. And then hammering on 5th string 2nd fret. an upstroke right after that hammer on. And then a downstroke on the fourth string open. fifth string second fret and then picking the sixth string uh, third fret after I do that hammer on another upstroke there kind of a tricky part It's going, uh, she asked me to stay, she told me to sit anywhere. Back 
to the D minor. Same thing we did before. So I look around and I notice there was then a. We go to the E minor. Chair. I'm doing the open, open E. Down upstroke. on at the fifth string second fret and that upstroke and then picking the fourth string second fret downstroke upstroke Pick that one again, uh, which is a fifth string second fret, and then go open to an, and go to an A. And so I'm going fifth string open, down stroke, up stroke, hammering on here at the fourth string second fret. and then picking the uh, third string second fret down stroke up stroke then it goes back to the D that, that does everything all over again that we just went through. Uh, and the ending is the same as the beginning. The outro is the same as the intro. So we already did that. So you just simply... Uh, just slow it down a little bit there at the end doing that. That's up to you. If you don't like slowing it down, don't. You know, just simply end it. Whatever you like. I hope this helps. Okay, that's Norwegian Wood. Thank you.